When Torontonians think about Hanlon's Point, they think Nude Beach. It's what the island is best known for, but one local group wants to change that. They want everyone to know that Hanlon's was the site of Canada's first pride in 1971 and one of the world's oldest surviving queer spaces. Let's take a trip and check it out. I came from a really small town and this guy told me like you're never gonna believe it there's a whole beach full of LGBTs and I'm like no way no way and then I showed up here and it's true Travis Myers co-founded Friends of Hamlin's last fall after becoming concerned about how the city was treating Hamlin's point the group fought a plan to build a permanent concert space on the island they were worried about negative impacts to local ecology and community safety for 2s LGBTQI plus visitors in May, the city adopted a motion to recognize Hanlon's Point Beach as a historically queer space in Canada and to consult Toronto's queer community during restorations. There's a lot of stuff that's happening towards the queer community right now that isn't right. And in order to make the argument that we deserve to have a place here in the present, I think there's no better way to do that than showing that we've actually always been here. And protecting Hanlon's is a way of doing that. Myers wants future generations to experience the same sense of community he's benefited from since first coming here 15 years ago. Hanlon's rich history has stayed alive due to the perseverance of Toronto's queer community. Local historian Ed Jackson says that decades ago, organizing was mostly grassroots, without government support. So it was a very different approach. We were sort of always very skeptical of the of the state and the and the, the municipal governments. But I think this group, the Friends of Hanlon, has been very, very savvy about how to make the connections with city staff and with city politicians. And they've really worked hard to make sure that uh, they're working together with uh, the people and not just necessarily against them. With the unanimous adoption of motion MM7.15 last week, the city of Toronto has started restoration efforts. It'll add cultural markers to commemorate Hanlon's queer history and fencing to protect the local environment. There have been some incidences of anti-queer violence and hate crimes here, uh, which is particularly sad because this is a space with so much uh, importance and history for the queer community. Mm -hmm. And for people who visit here, having that marker, something to be able to point to and say, this is a safer space for queer people, is so important. At Hanlon's Point, you can enjoy everything from community cleanups to drag performances and lazy beach days with friends. The sense of community is why visitors like Lisa Slater keep coming back year after year. Maybe there's not a lot of people that know that this is like a queer friendly spot um, and they probably don't know the history of like Hanlon's and the whole pride movement that happened here and I think that that's really important and more people should know about that. It just like makes me so happy that I'm like even standing in this spot like that is history, right? Signing off, I'm Anita Lee of the Green Line reporting with City News.